go. Devin, what do you think? finishing our trip back to Alaska. We are going to go to Anchorage and stay in Anchorage for a week and then we go back to home. But we are in Seattle. We have a couple hours left here so we are going to go to the Space Needle. So can I just say that I always thought Anchorage was big. That is nothing compared to Seattle. And we are sticking out just like like tourists. It is so big, it is so crowded here, it's crazy, isn't it? Mm-hmm. It's loud. So now we're going on that monorail thing and I'm a little bit nervous because remember I really do not like heights. I don't know what I'm gonna do. Just suck it up. Right now. See he didn't tell me. He just he said, oh let's just take the train to go there. He didn't tell me about this part. daring to go up there? I am not. <laughs> Those two are 100% sure, right? Yeah. Yep. This one, not so much. So me and Emily might record Devin shaking in his pants. So look, I'll be enjoying the downstairs here. I'm just hanging out. They will take the camera. We made it to the top. Yeah. He's freaking out. <laughs> yep. Check out the view. The view is pretty yeah, awesome. Yeah, it's really cool. Right here, check it out. Oh my gosh. Yep. Top of the Space Needle. Yeah. Let's see out in the background. And we're going to do a full circle and slowly make our way back down. And we're on a tight time schedule. We don't want to leave mommy down there by herself. Devin, what do you think? <laughs> He's scared. He's scared. He's scared because of this right here. Chicken. Yep, not that bad. No, I'm not afraid of heights. No.
Devin, what'd you order? I ordered a milkshake, a peanut butter milkshake. Mama, what'd you order? White chocolate mocha. Yeah. Like always. And I ordered a mint chocolate chip milkshake. Because mint chocolate chip is good. When we come back, we're going on a diet. Financially. <laughs> financially and food wise. Food wise. <laughs> so here's... Soaking it up as much sugar as I can. Because it's going to die soon. Yeah. Peanut butter? Is it good? Oh yeah. After the scary space needle. <laughs> so the armory back in the day, it was built in 1939 and it was housed artillery and half ton tanks were stored into this gigantic building. And in the basement um, was a firing range. Now, according to the internet, it says that you can go down there and you can actually see like marks from the fire range, but I don't know. And then when the World Fair came to Seattle to show off the Space Needle and all new technology, this was converted into one of the first vertical malls. And then now, today, it's a huge food court. And additionally, they have performances here, they have a children's museum, and they have a bunch of other, uh, I guess, workshops here. So, really cool, unique place to come visit. Wish we just had a little more time, um, but we're gonna drink our coffee, and we gotta head back, because we got a plane to catch. So, we just left the armory. Now we're going back um, to the hotel. We're gonna grab Maya, we're gonna grab the bag, so we will see you at the airport. so nice and when we landed I realized there's still no green grass here <laughs> probably for another couple of so. weeks but once when it starts everything blooms really really fast so now let's get out of here let's try to get a rental car yep. and let's try to find a hotel Just say after two days of traveling this leg space is pretty amazing <laughs> <laughs> but I have to stuff it with John's backpack oops How we do the inspection? and here comes Maya 
got to sit in the front seat. Okay, so now... I'm sorry, but does anyone have a, an opinion? This is really fancy. I like. I don't know about the music, though. I bet you we can put the phone on there, too. Are we ready? We are exhausted and I think we're going to go to bed and start the new day tomorrow and we'll see you up tomorrow.